On today's episode of the Cinematic Nation Show podcast, we have new trailers for Bad Boys 4 and the new thriller by director M. Night Shyamalan called Trap. Also, Papa Kent and Mama Kent have been cast for the new James Gunn Superman movie. Plus, Godzilla x Kong just crossed the 400 million mark at the box office. And we have the movie review for Miller's Girl, the new thriller debuting next week on Netflix. We're going to talk about that and a whole lot more on the Cinematic Nation show that starts right now. Well, greetings and thank you everybody for joining me here from our little studio in Virginia. I am your host, George Lopez, and it's awesome to have you and your friends gather around to talk about our favorite things, movies, movie news, and streaming. Today, I have a special guest with me, my very good friend, Ricky Miranda. What up, Doc? Hey, what's up? Glad to be here. All right, all right, man. Uh, finally, I'm I'm glad to. Uh, it's 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 a pleasure having having you here today, uh, to talk thank about. You, thank you. Yeah, to talk about a couple uh, topics that we have. Um, so it's good to have you, bro. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Right. Let's get into this. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. And with that down, uh, this is how today's show is going to work. Uh, on the, the first part of the show, we're going to discuss the four topics that I said in the beginning. And the second part of the show, we're going to talk about the box office for the movies opening this weekend. So with that down, let's go to our first topic of the day. And that first topic... Uh, that we're going to discuss is going to be the uh, trailer for the new movie, Bad Boys uh, 4. Have you seen the trailer? I saw it. I saw the trailer. Okay. 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 Um, okay I'm, for, first off, I'm a big fan of uh, Bad Boys, of the, of the Bad Boys franchise, especially one and two. Uh, second <laughs> part being the best of, of, oh, yeah. of the three movies yeah. uh, by a lot, by a mile. Um, mm -hmm. For me, uh, I know it's, 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 this is not, uh, this, not going to be the same uh, uh, thought for by everyone or everybody's not going to agree, but second part is for me is one of the best uh, action movies of all time. Just because It's a festival of action on that movie. It has um, a lot of action. Especially sequel. One of the best sequels. It's one of the of, best. Of the movie. Yeah. I have to agree with that too. Um, Which that's hard. Yeah, it is. It is. And when I heard uh, back then they're going to make uh, part three, uh, I, wa yeah. I was kind of, kind of excited because I... We, we've seen part two like i don't yeah, know 10 we're... 15 years ago yeah we're, we're fans yeah when part three dropped uh what a disappointment i couldn't stand the all all the backstory that they put on on mike on the mike uh lowry char character for me yeah. that was a bunch of horse shit so they didn't, they didn't like it um yeah it was so, just it was just a mess yeah when they announced uh they were gonna make uh bad boys 4 tell you the truth not excited at all but after watching the trailer uh that that got me thinking and i changed my mind i want to see the, this movie because it, it gave me the vibe of the second movie so yeah you've seen the trailer tell me tell me what what you think about about the trailer Well, I have the same exact thoughts as you. I was like, oh, man, a new movie of Bad Boys. But let me see the, the trailer because you never know. And once I saw the trailer, there was one certain scene. I was like, 
Oh no! Don't tell me he's back, and the captain is back. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Now, it, since it relates to his story of the captain, and that is something that interests me because it seems that like they're gonna have to fix something that of you know there's saying that he did something of corruption it looks and like that, they've, been, they've been framed that yeah that he was framed they, they, somehow oh, oh, oh yeah yeah uh it's not them uh the captain is being framed and they, the captain's being yeah. framed for for corruption and they saw that on tv they were like oh no hell no and it's up to them now like to save his ass <laughs> yeah to save his ass so yeah yeah De definitely i'm i'm on board to watch that one and uh I don't know. Let's let's, let's see how, how how it goes. It, it looks good, uh, for for what I've seen on on the trailer. But I, I'm telling you, it's giving me the vibes of the of the second movie. So, is it is it gonna live up to uh, expectation? We don't know, but that's very hard. Question for you guys: Are you excited for? the new bad boys trailer and are you gonna be first in line to buy tickets uh to watch uh, this movie uh that's that's the questions that that i have for you so um feel free to jump on the comment section below and let us know your thoughts so with that down <clears throat> we have another trailer that we uh need to talk about and it's the new uh thriller by director m night uh Shyamalan called trap that just dropped this past week uh i believe it was on thursday and it looks uh very good um it looks very promising <laughs> promising that's the word that's the, that's the word uh promising so looks like uh this movie is about a serial killer that uh he goes with his uh a daughter to a concert and yeah. while in the concert he starts noticing that uh there's cops and stuff like that and he he gets curious and is looking like uh they are setting up a trap <laughs> to get this serial killer so i think the the story is, is original the, or, or the idea is very original by but he didn't know it was a trap he just knows that there was a lot of movement exactly it, it's when he asked the employee yeah which that employee was a pure rat <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ man <laughs> if you're gonna catch a killer why are you gonna spill the beans like that damn yeah <laughs> So let me let me uh, go a little bit forward. That's the guy. Yes, <laughs> that's that's the rat. That's the rat. Look at him right there. <laughs> Jeez, bro, come on. Look, I love the way he looked around. <laughs> no, no, and you and you saw the face of uh, Josh Harnett when he said, "Yeah, you know the butcher." He's like. Uh... Yeah, he's like, oh no. <laughs> but I'm going to be completely uh, the honest right here. Uh. When, okay, you told me to see this, the trailer. I didn't know was, I, I didn't know nothing about this background. And I thought something else, but it caught me off guard that when the guy said that the real reason why they were doing this, for only one person, which is the serial killer, the aka the butcher, yeah. and that scene that he went to the bathroom, I was like, "Oh my god, no wonder he put that face." Oh that yeah, that was that was nice. It, it, yeah, it, it looks <clears throat> it looks pretty good. I, I, I'm I'm very curious about about the movie. So, um, as soon as it goes to the to theaters so i'm gonna watch it that's gonna be a, it's a, on my on my wish list <laughs> i think it's a must see yeah because 
what is he gonna do? He's trapped. Yeah. I don't know. I just, that's that's incredible. Is he gonna be able to escape some way somehow? I I, I saw someone uh, rolling down the stairwells. So I did saw that. I, I believe that I'm gonna call it this. That's that's a distraction that is that he's gonna cost to try to. He's gonna cause. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna basically take the 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 star of the show, the singer, as hostage, and he's gonna use that leverage to escape. That's it. I call it. Uh, no, that, uh, that's not the no? what I what I no. have in mind. But okay. Anyways, you, that's that's your take on it. My take is my take. Uh, he's gonna use his daughter. To, oh, to try to uh to get free of the the police. Mm. Let's see, let's see how how it's gonna unfold when we see the movie. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. So, guys, question for you. Are you excited for this uh, M. Night Shyamalan movie called Trap? And are you going to be there opening night to watch this movie? So feel free to comment on the comment section below and let us know what you think. So with that down, <laughs> we have casting news for the new James Gunn Superman movie uh, dropping on theaters. July 11th, 2025. So tell me, Ricky, what's, what's, what's the news? Well, I have an article here that says Superman cast finds Martha Kent, DCU actress. Just a day after casting Pruitt Taylor Vince in the role of Jonathan Kent, the upcoming DCU film Superman has found its Ma Kent. According to a report from the, yeah, from the rap, the role of Martha Kent, a.k.a. Ma Kent, <laughs> will go to Neva Howell. Jonathan and Martha Kent serve as an adoptive parents of Superman after they found Kryptonian baby after Superman's ship lands in Kansas. All right, all right. That's what I have here. <clears throat> <clears throat> There's a good source. Uh, it's coming from the rap that we have Prue Taylor Vance and Neva Howell as uh, Papa Kent and Mama Kent. Okay. That's them. All right. I don't know if you remember. I remember Prue uh, from that movie uh, with Keanu Reeves, uh, Constantine. Constantine. Oh yeah. yeah, Constantine. The guy with the the priest uh, with the with the crazy eyes. You yeah, remember? I, I I remember from the movie The Identity. Have you saw that movie? Identity with John Cusack. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Your favorite actor, I know. <laughs> okay. okay, take it slow. Calm it slow. the f down, he says. <laughs> the guy with no emotion. <laughs> um. Uh, she's uh, Mama Kent. I, I I haven't seen her in anything so me neither yeah me neither. to be honest so uh james gunn is picking a couple actors new and actors yeah, new faces yeah that, that are not well known so because not well known yeah because you mm. can you can identify pruitt uh from other movies but you're not gonna remember his name so, yeah i get that yeah so, i get that he, he's not a, a face that you're gonna say Oh yeah, that's Kevin Costner, in yeah, you know. But um, well, I'm glad they they finally have uh Jonathan Kent and Martha Kent with these two actors. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the Superman movie already has a pack uh cast already. Yeah, they have. I know they have uh. David Corenswell as Superman, uh, Rachel Bruce, 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 what? Bruce Nahan as as uh, Louis Lane, uh, Nathan Fillion as Guy Garner. And That's correct. They have a lot of people already cast for for this movie. I don't know if it's two pack of uh, superheroes or and villains, so. Oh. It's just it, it needs to be. 
Nicholas Holt. Nicholas Holt. Yeah, I, know, I like I, that casting. I know you like the, uh, that casting in particular. Um, he's a good actor. I don't know if 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 he's gonna fit the profile for uh, Lex Luthor, but you really, know, you don't think? I don't know. I I gotta see the movie. I'm not gonna be that person. I'm not gonna be a hater because Henry Cavill is not in the movie and. You and I, very big fans. very big fans of uh, Henry Cavill, Cavill as Superman. So we're gonna give this guy a break. I already saw a new picture of David Co David Cornsworth, uh, Cornsworth. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> looks <laughs> looks like he's been working out. He he already have a wide jaw, so I think he's putting in uh, it, it work he has to be he has to be committing uh committing himself because there's no source of pictures or nothing like that it's a tall task for this guy because yeah you have yeah. to practically match henry cavill's physique in it's order tough to do in order to to get the the attention that henry cavill got with uh when he did yeah. uh, superman So, it's rem it remains to be seen how this movie is going to pan out. And uh, it's up to James Gunn to, to, to make a, a... He has to make a great movie. He has to make a great movie in order to for this to succeed. Yeah, and, uh, he, this movie needs to be great in order for the DCU to succeed. Because this is going to be the, the first start of their franchise. It's like that. It's like that. So, question for you guys. Are you happy with this uh, casting for uh, Papa Kent and Mama Kent? Uh, picking not well-known actors. Um, and also, are you pretty pumped up with the casting so far of all the superheroes? and villains I am. that they have. So feel free to comment on the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. So with that down, we go to our next topic on the list and is the Godzilla X-Con movie crossing the 400 million mark at the box office. Ricky, how much money Has Godzilla XCOM made so far? Well, George, let me say it. <laughs> let me spill the beans. It has made over 444 million worldwide. On its third week in uh, in the in the theaters. Third week. Okay, so I think it's it's going pretty good. Oh yeah, so far. So, do, do you have by any chance the how much is it cost to make the movie? I do not. All right, uh, I do not. If you can find it real quick, um, I'm gonna say something about Godzilla X Con. Okay, uh, go right ahead. It was surprising, um, but I was happy. I, I I usually don't like this kind of movie about monsters and shit like that. But you do that. Yeah. <laughs> I and you're the contrary. It, you love this movie, this kind of movie. So oh, yeah. Um the the movie gave the the audience what they were asking for. So because usually they talk a lot of crap during the movie <laughs> in, or, <laughs> in order in order to build up the hype and then all of a sudden like the ah, yeah, like, like the first part of Godzilla <laughs> man with, that was horrible Godzilla with no Godzilla <laughs> so Godzilla <laughs> a movie with no Godzilla Pratic <laughs> practically so this movie did what the audience was asking for and what 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 are we asking for just give me the monsters that's it the whole More movie action. Yeah, more action, more monsters, 
uh, fighting each other, eating each other. Did he, and did, did he show uh, Monarch as much as the other movies? Which is basically the, the company that, that you know, handles yeah. the monsters. Yeah. So, yeah, I agree with you. You know, that, it, that, that was good. That was good for a person like me that don't like this type of movie. I was pretty excited, pretty entertained is the word. Uh, pretty entertained uh, in, the, in, in theater when I was in the theater. And it, everybody seemed pretty much uh, happy with the with the movie this is not an oscar winning uh, movie or anything like that so uh it was good to to be entertained for once <laughs> <laughs> plus we got the best monster popping up in the movie a lot which is kong um <laughs> oh, here we go I, I like that too. Here we go. I like Here that go. too. So uh, you know you're gonna bring that up. Yeah. Give 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 him props to 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 the monster that deserved the the attention, which is uh, King Kong, and um, yeah, man, he whoops Godzilla's ass at some point. Uh, hell yeah, let's go, let's go, Kong. <laughs> let's get it straight. Gasol is the, is the better monster. But they focus more on Khan on this movie. Uh, That's can, how it is. I can agree that he's the most uh, popular monster. I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say he's uh, the best monster. So, there you go, bro. You, you, don't, you don't have to look any further. L look at that picture. That's a badass picture. <laughs> it is. It is. Is a badass picture, but um, yeah, but uh, I have, but I did like this movie a lot, especially Kong, mm -hmm. because Kong was kind of badass. He he was he was he was uh, especially against uh, what's the the villain called? Scar. Uh, Scar King. Scar King. Yeah. Yeah, a, a, a low imitation of of Scar from Lion King. Yeah. But with <laughs> skills, fighting skills, he was. Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, uh, like it was impressive. <laughs> and then, and then it didn't go well for the Scar King at the end. <laughs> oh, and that's the picture oh. of the uh, hundred yard run, you know. Yeah, uh, which Godzilla was actually fast in this movie. Yeah, Godzilla has been working on those skills as well. So yeah. Yeah, I have the lifting the production weight. budget right here and lifting weights. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> looks I strong. have the looks. the production budget. Uh, well, what was that? It says between one thirty five to one hundred fifty million. One thirty five, one fifty, and he's so far for forty. Third week, I think he's it, doing good. I, I think it's uh, yeah. profitable so far. It's, do, it's doing good, bro. It's doing good. It's been prof profitable so far. So yeah, uh, we're definitely behind the movie. Like we're 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 being fans. Four K Steelbook. Ah, he had to do it. <clears throat> I'm I'm not gonna go that far, but. Oh my god! I, I don't blame you for getting the movie. The movie is very entertaining. So if they if they put out a steel book with all four movies in it, oh, that would be great. Better sign uh, me up. Oh yeah, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. <laughs> Warner Brothers do that. <laughs> well, guys, question for you: um, Are you? going to see this movie for a second time third time maybe and do you believe this movie is gonna surpass the 500 and 600 million mark comment down in the section below and let us know your thoughts so with that down uh apparently i forgot to mention in, in introduction that we were going to talk about dune part two also so we're gonna take this moment and we're gonna talk about dune two because we wanna we wanna express what we feel about the movie and go from there 
I'm going to start by saying uh, this movie. <clears throat> a lot of people are saying uh, uh, are, are saying that it's the <laughs> best sci-fi movie in the last 10, 15, 20 years. Oh, wait. For real? They're saying that? I'm calling cap on it. Uh, no, sir. No. I know it's a it's a very good I'm going I'm going I'm going to say it it's a great cinematographic uh cinematographic uh, experience to to feel or to experience at, at the theater especially if you go see this movie in IMAX I did and I did uh this guy looks so beautiful there yeah and I I saw it on, on, in Dolby Digital as well um by the way, the be the best experience to watch a movie, Dolby Digital, the, that's that's the that's the way to go. But this movie was shot in IMAX, and it's a it's a great uh, cinem uh, cinematographic uh, exper experience, and but it's overrated. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's it's overrated. It yeah, it's it's just not your cup of tea. Thank you. No, it's but, not. But guess what, George? What it's not mice either. Okay. okay. Yeah, I have the same I have the same mutual um opinion about this movie. But we have to agree that the acting is very good. No, uh, uh, that's 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 the thing. That's not the problem. The 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 acting, thank you for pointing that out. It's very good, uh, especially uh, Timothy Sh uh, Chalamet. Man, very great acting from from his part. Yeah, very good. Um, especially after seeing him in uh, Wonka, and then jumping to do jumping there. Yeah, Dune Two. That's that, that's great. That's great. Um, He's he's a very good actor. He he has a he, very bright future. He he has some powerful scenes in the movie, which even motivated me. I was like, "Damn! Yeah. All right, all right." See him showing some leadership here. Okay, but be careful. Uh, in what way he's motivating you? Because you know yeah. how the movie ended. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I know a lot of people already watched this movie, so. I, I don't care if if, if there's a, is a spoiler for 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 people. Okay, that's so bad. Um, do you think he turned bad at the end of the movie? No, I don't no. think he turned bad. Um, it seems the one of the Reverend Mothers, mm -hmm. you know, from the one who sits by the 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 Emperor. Uh -huh. She's the one saying that he's an uh, abomin uh, abomination. How you say the word? Abomination. Abomination. Uh, and he seemed to be very powerful too. So I'm not gonna say how he got that. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a spoiler. But you asked the question, and for me, I don't think that he's gonna be bad. I think, but, but it could be. It might happen. I think the 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 mother is more evil than him right now yeah it, she turns so that it does like a strange vibe there yeah i think he is going to to turn evil he already betrayed uh i forgot her name uh the the Zendaya's, uh character yeah but he said it he said a certain thing can we say this this is kind of a spoiler go ahead bro he he did say that that I, whatever happens i want I want to let you know that I, I love you. Oh yeah, no, no. He, he, uh, he was straightforward with that. But I believe he's gonna turn evil in order to conquer whatever he he wants to uh, conquer. And I don't know. Um, maybe if they do future uh, sequels, which I believe they're gonna do, because this movie. Uh, did well on uh, at the box office um and people people are liking the movie i think he's gonna uh turn turn evil and then at the end of the story however he's gonna finish he's gonna come back to his senses and 
become uh, a good guy again and possibly uh, end up with uh, Sendai's character. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, that, 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 that could happen as well. I don't know. I'm, I'm just... Uh, I'm just guessing here, but um, yeah, that that's 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 what I think uh, is gonna happen. And by the way, I, I love that that picture too. That's a f that's a badass picture. Yeah. What what is the the worms the those worms uh, call? I, I believe they're called sandworms. I'm not sure. If someone could comment down down below, but I'm not sure. Yeah, please call out Ricky and tell him uh, that he don't know. Sh <laughs> and me as well. Damn. Bro. Me too. Well, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know the we, name. We don't know. Damn, <laughs> calling me out like that. Jesus, bro, come on. <laughs> well, guys, uh, <laughs> question for you: Do you think uh, Paul Paul Atreides uh, became evil at the end of the movie? And do you think this movie is the best movie of the uh, sci-fi movie of the last 15 years? Please comment in the comment section below and let us know what you think. So with that down, let's go to our, to our final topic of the day and it's the movie review for Uh, the new thriller debuting next week on yeah. Netflix, Miller's Girl. And it's this movie is dropping uh, on Netflix April 25th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we already saw it on a private screening. So we're ahead of schedule with, with this movie. And although we don't want to... Um, spoil it for you we're gonna talk a little bit about the movie and say what we think about about the movie so ricky do you have the uh the synopsis for the movie yes i have it right here all right a, a creative writing assignment yields complex results between a teacher and his talent his talented student all right that's it there you go that's That's the story. That's it. That's the synopsis. Nice. Nice. Plain and simple. <laughs> Plain and simple. <laughs> Makes our job more easier. Oh, hell yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> so we've seen the movie already. Um, I was pretty excited with the trailer of the movie. Me too. Yeah. It looked, it looked good because it was interesting um, to see this teacher if his if he was gonna get on on a should we say relationship or 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 maybe cross have, the line cross the line have a fling with uh have a fling. with a student or not or not so but whatever the case may be this is uh this good This movie will be very disturbing for most people. Yeah. Um, I like the acting. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, from uh, Martin, Martin Freeman and Jenna Ortega. Smoking hot. Gotta say it. Yeah. Um, she did very good, man. She's gorgeous and very sexy. So I, I, I gotta say that. But She's um, the future. She's the future. She's, she's still in everything. Bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she is. She is. She's, she's she's a very good actor. So, um and she's hot. <laughs> again, yes. <laughs> But uh, yeah, um Martin Freeman again uh did a very good job. Um after watching the movie, I gotta say disappointment for me. Uh although we don't we can go into details of the movie for uh for to to not spoil the movie uh i went going into the movie expecting a lot of things to happen and it didn't go that way <coughs> and um 
Um, I don't know. I, I, I would have liked the director and the writers to take more risks on on the story of of the movie. And yeah, I agree. Yeah, and they and they hold themselves uh, back uh, with with the with the writing of of this of this movie. And this movie is described or rated as a thriller. Thriller. I don't I don't see the trailer on the on the movie. So <laughs> no, that, I, I didn't see the the thrilling part of of the movie. But um, but there was a certain scene that was kind of thrilling. Yeah, when, when you know where, the confrontation where he's in, no excuse me where he's in the on the garage reading <laughs> no 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 <laughs> that's not the thriller part <laughs> the, the the confrontation between mm. him and her yeah but, at the end of the movie yeah but the same videos but i don't know but for if for me it was a more like a drama kind of movie instead of Oh, uh, thriller. Uh, okay, I got you that. I got you. Yeah, because a thriller is something that that could hold you uh, or have you uh, on the edge of your seat, kind yeah. of, you know. Guess you some kind of suspense, like what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. And it didn't but, do that for me. Uh, I, I have to agree with you. I also found the movie Disappointment. And I'm not saying the movie is bad because it's not. It's, not. it's actually good. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just the way the path they went to. And how it unfold. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I have to agree with you 100%. They should have took a little bit more risk. I know it will be very disturbing for, for people. But, guys, these things happen in life. So... <laughs> They have to, yeah, we have to accept it. It, it, it happens in life. And, oh, my God. Anyway. <laughs> they should have taken the, at him. the, yeah. <laughs> He's flirting. <laughs> yeah, look at that part, yeah. They, they should have taken the, the darker path. Yeah. It should have gone that way. Which it did end it kind of dark, it, but... <sighs> Yeah, yeah. Again, we're not gonna spoil it for for you exactly. guys, but uh, yeah, they they should have taken more risks. Uh, writing the movie, directing the movie, um, it was going good for a while, so <laughs> it was heading the right way. They didn't quite finish that way, but um, yeah, that's fine. Um, we're still gonna en encourage you to watch the movie next yeah. week because uh the movie the movie is still still fairly fairly good i'm not it's I'm good not, it's good it's yeah. good i'm not it's gonna good. gonna say it's very good but it's fairly good and um uh yeah so you can give your opinion to us if you watch uh the, this video and you can comment uh down in in the section below and uh you know let us know your, your, your thoughts. So, uh, with that with that down, we're going to go to our uh, second part of the show and last part. And it's going to be the box office for the new movies debuting this week. So, the two movies debuting this, this week are... Um, Abigail, which is a horror movie, and the Ministry of Ungentlemanly. Yeah, Ungentlemanly what? Warfare. Warfare, starring our guy, our boy, Henry Cavill. <laughs> 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 also, Alan Richardson. Uh, oh from yeah. That's my boy. From Reacher. We're yeah. starting on the movie. So the ministry, uh, the the ministry is tracking to debut this weekend or, or open this weekend. Um, 12 to make 12 to no, 9 to 11 million this weekend. And Abigail Damn. is the one tracking to make 12 
to 22 million opening oh, week. Man. Oh, that's tough. It, it's not looking good for, for Henry Cavill. Not looking good at all. Um, nine to 11 million this weekend is not going to cut it for, for the movie to, to have a success. And consequentially, for Henry Cavill to have success <laughs> at the box <laughs> office. So, I don't know. That, that's kind of low. And Abigail, 12 to 22. I don't know. It, it might have a better chance than the, than the Henry Cavill movie because, I don't know, horror horror is trending lately. So, um, yeah. I know they, they have put out a lot of shitty movies uh, at the theater, <laughs> but uh, horror movies at the theater. But uh, I don't know. They're saying this movie is gonna it's gonna do well and it's gonna surprise you as well. So I don't know. I've seen the trailer. Uh, it, it doesn't have my attention. Okay. Okay. You haven't seen the trailer for Apple? I saw the I, I saw the trailer and it, I caught it like it looks good, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure. Not sure. Okay. So I'm optimistic. Okay. It, it might be good. Who knows? Uh, but, you know, um, uh, by, by, the, <laughs> by the look of the trailer, nah, not, not that excited about it. Um, I was looking forward to see the Henry Cavill one, uh, the ministry, but we'll see. I'm, I'm still going to watch it. That's, that's, that's our boy. So we're going to watch that movie too. And let's see how uh, the ministry, Abigail and civil war are going to track, uh, this, this weekend and next week, we're going to see you and talk about more about, uh, the new movies that are going to uh, open next weekend as well. So, guys, uh, that's all we have for, for today. Just feel free to leave a comment, as usual, on the comment section below. Let us know your thoughts. And with that, we're going to say goodbye to you guys and see you on the next one.